Okay, boys and girls, today we started off with our reading, My View 4.1. Again, we continued with our story this week, which is Life at the Top. So, we stopped at page 127, so make sure you read up to page 127. Do your annotations and hashtags for the paragraphs, okay? Up to page 127. Uh, we did write our two words there for our word webs, which was endurance and excel. Okay, so those were the two that we did. For homework today, for spelling, you do have ladder words. So, and I'm sorry I'm going through this quickly today because it got a little late for me. So we have our ladder words for today. So make sure you practice them. Excuse me. Um, then moving on to math. Our homework today is on page 97. Page 97. Okay. So make sure you do that. Page 97. They're fact families, just like we did yesterday. And we did 107. We were sketching the decimals and the fraction. So we did 107. Make sure you do your, your place value charts. And we did page 108 as well. So we were shading in for these other three. We were shading in and writing the fraction for those, and then we were doing fraction and decimal for the ones that were already shaded in for us. That was page 108. Now going on to page 111. Again, we had to shade, write down the fraction and the decimal. Make sure you do your place value chart for these as well. Okay. We'll continue with that tomorrow. So that was math. So now if we go into our science fusion and we were continuing with our discussion on energy. So page 176, it says flash and boom at the top. And we stopped at 179, reading the page energy at home. I did post a Bill Nye video, so you can watch that for those that aren't online. Make sure you do watch that video and then read um, these pages here on Science Fusion, ending on page 179, and the lesson starts on 172. Okay, we did that since Monday, and we'll continue tomorrow with Some Like It Hot on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. For my world, we did a quiz on the pages the last lesson that we went over which was 
ending on page 146. It was about the Spanish explorers, the European explorers that came over um, to discover Texas land. So make sure you look over that. It starts on page 140, ends on page 147. Um, make sure you do the quiz. If you haven't done so, I will be reaching out to you so you can submit the quiz. And then last but not least, we did our pre-writing, our brainstorming for um, the expository composition from 2.3 to 2.4. This is in the writing collection, the fourth grade writing collection. So it was to write about uh, someone that inspires you and you have to explain why that person is special. So I wrote about my grandmother and there's four attributes that I admire about her that inspire me and I think that's why that makes her special to me. So I expanded on those four and that's what you're gonna be writing in your body. And so this is how I kind of set it up. We have our introduction, our body and conclusion for our introduction. We restate our prompt. So there are several people that inspire me, but my grandmother is someone that inspires me deeply every day. My grandmother is special because she is a generous, wise, caring, and hardworking woman. And then we're going to expand on why she's generous, wise, caring, and hardworking. And then the conclusion, again, this is why my grandmother inspires me and is special to me. So that's what we ended our day with today, boys and girls. Again, I will be reaching out to those that have not done their social studies quiz. I'll see you all tomorrow.